Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading for July 2019 and welcome back to my channel Luna Sync Tarot. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. I do lunar readings and love readings for each sign for each month. Also follow me on Instagram at LunaSync. All right, let's sync up. I've already shuffled your cards and what we have here in the position of you and what you're contributing to your love situation in July is the Queen of Wands. She's so amazing. So you are really embodying this energy of uh, vitality and vibrancy and confidence. And um, it's she's like the social butterfly. So you're really good in July with aligning with others in order to accomplish your goals and to achieve your vision. She's highly networked. Um, she knows how to, like I said, connect with others in order to make things happen, right? And in, in order to achieve her vision. She's highly self-actualized. She's highly self-aware and she expresses herself fully and you are embodying this energy at this time in July at the time of your connection with this other which is so powerful and so amazing I get the sense that you are just like you're at you're experiencing a peak moment in terms of who you are and in terms of your confidence and your ability to be a leader um it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful, strong, confident energy. So this is you and what you're contributing, Taurus. Maybe you've had some recent success and achievement, and you're riding that wave to shore. In the position of your love interest and what they're bringing to the connection in July is the Knight of Wands. Like, can it get any better? It could get better. If it were the King of Wands, that would be better because the Queen gets the King, right? Whoever you're connecting with around this time, your love interest, I get a sense that they have a slightly younger energy than you. Or, or maybe if it's not actual age, if they're not actually younger than you, I get the sense that they are, um, their, their uh, energy is less actualized. It's less mature. It's not as mature as your energy. I feel like you have, you have like expert level um, understanding of your energy and this person is still kind of working it out but they're able to match your energy to a certain extent they're both in the suit of wands they're both fiery passionate action oriented vibrant healthy confident willing to um, do what it takes they are visionary and they um, in terms of love, like I like this card in terms of love for you because it means that somebody's willing to take action around your connection. They know what they want and they're going to get it, right? They're going to go after it. It can be slightly impulsive, right? It can be a little bit um, immature. Uh, it's like this person um, is <laughs> willing to go get what they want, but they don't really have a plan which could compromise long-term success, but they are willing to take action around this connection. And they're meeting your energy to a certain extent. You're both in, you're, you're both fire, in this fiery, passionate, creative, visionary, energetic, vibrant energy. So the combined energy, this was incredible, is the Two of Cups. So when I say they're meeting your energy, this card confirms that as well. This is mutual attraction. This is mutual witnessing of one another. It's mutual respect and mutual appreciation. And you see eye to eye. There's a full moon behind these two figures. So this connection could happen around the time of the full moon, which I believe is July 19th. In this picture of, or the card of the two of cups, um, there is a um, boy looking at a woman and it's always seemed to me when I've looked at this that the boy that it is a boy it's not a man it's someone younger than this woman she looks at this boy with total confidence right and he looks at her he meets her gaze but there does seem to be an age difference so I don't know watch out for that either it's an age different difference or it's a difference in maturity in some way 
um, energetic maturity or something like that. But yeah, it's the two of cups. It's like, um, hmm, shared values and a new partnership and really seeing eye to eye. This is a win-win, right? This is a physical and a soul connection. So yeah, this is the combined energies. It really feels like you're on the same page. This is a mutual, um, a mutual experience. You know, so how sometimes you get into relationships and some one or the other is like kind of half in and half out and it's not, you're not really meeting each other in the same way. This is not that. This is like, I witness you, you witness me. This is mutual. This is a mutual connection, love connection, emotional connection. There's this arc, this energetic arc that goes from one cup to the other and it like has a burst of energy between um, their foreheads at the the point of the um, the third eye. It's a soul connection, a physical connection, an emotional connection. That's intense and awesome. And then in the outcome, we have the four of wands. So this position is the outcome. It is also what needs to be understood and what needs to be integrated. The four of wands speaks to stability. So the four is the um, number of stability and security. It's, the, um, it's very structured. It's the square, right? Um, and then the, the four of wands speaks to like a happy home life, like happy, there's like some sort of happy event, some happy celebration, um, that has to do, there could be that there's a child in this love connection, but this is a love connection that is very stable. It's very happy. It's very celebratory. It, there's a reason to celebrate this connection, right? It speaks to achievement. It speaks to a sort of homecoming. Sometimes this is seen as like um, the home card, the happy home card. Sometimes this is seen as the marriage card. And when we talk about a celebration or an event or a ritual of some sort, um, readers will often say this is the marriage card. Um, it portends a marriage of some sort, um, even if it's just an energetic marriage, but it's a positive energetic connection with a lot of stability around it. You see the two bunnies in the forefront there, the bunnies, the rabbits are symbolic of fertility um, and peace. That's really, really, really positive. I mean, this is a strong, positive love reading for July for 2019 for Taurians. Let's pull some tarot of sexual magic because I love working with this deck. I want to know what the chemistry is like between the two of you. How do they feel about you? How do they feel about your chemistry? Ooh. Okay. We get two cards here. We have the judgment card and we have the three of wands. Okay. So the thing that sticks out to me right away is that in this judgment card, there's a man and a woman and a child. In this four of wands card, we have a man, a woman, and a child. So whatever this connection is, it could be that very literally there is a child involved in this love connection. The judgment card in general is about a rebirth. It's about an awakening. So it could be that this person really feels like they have, they get a second chance through their connection with you. This connection to them feels like it's really waking them up to some reality that they didn't even know could exist. Um, and then we have the three of wands. Ooh, this looks so loving. So these two people are fully clothed. They're embraced in an external scene, like in an outdoor scene, and they're embracing one another. She has her hand in his hair and he has his hands in her hair. And it's a passionate, a passionate kiss. So yeah, they feel about you this very, it's like a very intimate, passionate, um, respectful connection. It reminds me a lot of the message of the Two of Cups where they're face to face, right? It's mutual. He has his hand in her hair. She has her hand in his hair. They're sort of mimicking postures and they are embraced in this very loving, intimate kiss. 
That's awesome. That's how they feel about you and your chemistry, the chemistry that they have with you. How do you feel about them, Queen of Wands? What do you think about them? Whoa! Okay. This is the Four of Wands. So this is the Three of Wands and this is the Four of Wands. This is the same couple. But now they're still in an outdoor scene, but they're fully naked, like full on naked. They're on a swing. They're having very like fun, adventurous sex. That's how you feel about them. You feel like they're, they're fun. They're adventurous. Well, that's definitely Knight of Wands energy, right? Um, passionate. It almost seems like, I mean, the, the man in this image is, um, just like lost in total, uh, like his, like he's just lost in the act. His eyes are shut. It's like he's in a totally different world. Right? Let's pull another card for how you feel about them. How do you feel about them? Let's look at this a little bit more. Ooh, we have the eight of pentacles. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but let me look at it a little bit more closely. Oh, look, it's just a beautiful home, home scene. There is a percolator back there. So they're drinking coffee or tea. They're in bed. He has a rose. Um, she's kind of, looks like she's watching TV or she's like staring off in the distance, just sort of like in reverie. And he's rubbing this rose against her legs. And it just looks like a really comfortable home life. She must feel very comfortable with him. She's just sitting there naked, sipping her tea. <laughs> and he's admiring her. You like that. You like that it's very comfortable, that you feel just really comfortable with this person, and you trust this person. Um, and he really admires you. That's beautiful. Okay, um, let's pull a crystal card. Pull a crystal card about this relationship. What are the, the basic qualities of this relationship that will lead to um, this beautiful connection that's being described in this reading? <clears throat> Let's learn more about this connection through the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle. Rhodozite. Rhodozite. I have a piece of Rhodozite. It's a beautiful gem. Not gem. It's beautiful stone. It's beautiful crystal. Um... Here we go. Mighty power. Zingy rhodozite is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vitality to the physical body. These two cards here, the wands, are all about vitality. It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes the etheric bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cell cells and spaces between. Kundalini energy is like that. It's uh, Kundalini energy is the wands. The wands are all about Kundalini energy. It's that root chakra, sexual uh, energy that is creative. It's the sexual creative energy that um, is sort of like the building block of our energetic system. It's like often expressed as the serpent. It um, spirals up from the chakra, the root chakra and energizes um, the entire body, the entire, all of the chakras and um, leads to this sort of spiritual awakening. So self-understanding, karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from earlier in your present life may be creating a state of psychosomatic dis-ease. Your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part, as can those of other people directed toward you. Check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. The healing insight is living in a healthy, stable environment 
this is definitely four of wands energy creates a stable physical body so this healthy stable environment leads to physical health and physical vitality as well the frequency is earthy and high the chakra is earth star solar plexus casual vortex the timing is autumn and the soul path is healing the earth so there's a lot from this rotozite about earth energy taurus is an earth sign also i mean yeah it's kind of unusual to get this i mean so many um wands in one reading right we have three wands here in this one reading actually we have more than more than that we have uh five wands so it's definitely wands heavy and however taurus is an earth energy taurus is all about stability and practicality and tangibility um and that fire energy with the earth energy can be really powerful and um, magnetic and all about and like Tor taurians are s masters at manifestation and if you have a spark fueling your innate ability to manifest then watch out and this reading for love and july is just really really strong it's very clear it's very strong and it's very clear. It indicates that you will connect with somebody that um, you see eye to eye with. There's a mutual attraction, a mutual respect, a mutual appreciation. And in the outcome, we have the Four of Wands, which is like this very stable, happy, content um, environment. There does seem to be children involved or a child involved. And all of the, the chemistry cards that we pulled here are really, really lovely. So, wow, I am wishing you the best in July. If this reading resonates with you, leave a message below. I'd love to see how this, um, how this manifests in your, in your life, in your love life in July. So definitely leave a comment if you can and are able. Um, hit the, the like button if you liked this reading. It really helps the readings to circulate to others. And um, make sure to subscribe and hit, hit the bell for notifications. You can follow me on Instagram as well, at Lunasync. I hope you have a beautiful July. Take good care.